Alright guys, just a short video to show you the difference between a springer that's been tuned, one that hasn't been tuned, and how you can do a little bit of the tuning at home. So to start off, I'm going to show you this springer has just got a little bit of grease on the, the main spring, so it's pretty quiet, but we're going to see if we can improve it. listen carefully you'll hear there's a, a little bit of a twang hi guys so as you can see the Slavia 630 or the CZ 630 is now stripped here's the spring so the next mod we're gonna do we're gonna add this aluminium sleeve onto this back piece which basically goes in the back of the spring and the reason we want to add that is if you look here you can see how much space is there how much movement is in there so we want to take up that movement and then the other mod we're going to do is we're going to take another aluminium sleeve and this is going to go inside the piston itself but let's first do the back one then we'll test it and then we'll come and do the last one see you now now okay so now we can clearly see we've got a sleeve in the back here and then also we've put a sleeve down in here there you can see it nicely and now you can see there's a nice tight fit now very little play but still enough that when the spring is compressed that uh, it will have a bit of space to be able to compress alright so let's put the gun back together now and uh, without adding extra lubrication we're going to shoot it like this and then we'll do just to add the lubrication after and see what's the difference then let's have a look okay so got the gun assembled again now I can just let you hear so you can hear the cocking is still quite loud let's see how it sounds when it shoots oopsie doesn't sound too bad vibration very little one and then after this we'll go and grease it up and then we'll try it with the lubrication okay so now we've tested it with just the spaces taking up all the space inside the piston and at the back of the spring so the next week thing we're going to do is we're going to lubricate this gun. In other words, what some people refer to as a lube tune. So all I've got is some, if you look here, it's just normal CV joint grease. Just make sure it's got a bit of molly in it. If you look here, you can see they're containing molly. So that's the main component that we're after. And all I've done, just put it into a normal syringe, a big syringe. And I'm going to just squeeze it in. If you look here, so here I've got access to the spring here, and here I've got access to the spring here. So I'm just going to squeeze it in there, make sure that there's enough in there, and then also maybe just squeeze in a little bit here on the joints, and then we're going to hear if it makes a difference to how smooth the gun not only cocks but shoots as well. So let me do that, and then I'll get back to you. Okay. So let's see if this grease lube made a difference. So let's first hear the cocking. Much easier, isn't it? Sounds like. A... Alright, so let's put the pellet in. Let's see if it makes a difference to the shooting. Definitely a nice smooth shot. 
fair equal, there's also a little bit less. So it should help us to shoot a bit more accurate. Alright, so that's how you can tune your springer at home. Enjoy.